Go away, Michael. I have to work now. Hello, hello, hello. This is Elle's Company from Bemis Crafty Corner, and I went on a scavenger. That's right, because it's Tuesday, and that's what I do now on Tuesday. I go scavenger. So, um, we went all the way out to Henderson today. I did not get out to um, Boulder. I really want to go to Goat Feathers, um, but I'm not even sure they're open yet. But, to be honest, um, oh, I really want to go. Um, <laughs> but we did go out as far as Henderson, so let me show you what we did. Um, a couple weeks back, I went up to Utah, and when I was in Utah, Curly had given me a couple of boxes that look like this, and this is for the Xyron 850. I don't have the 850. I have the 550. Um, that's my big machine, and she only paid a dollar and a half for them, and they are laminating. It's not a sticker machine. This is laminating cartridges. Um... But I didn't have the machine, but I was like, that's okay, because, you know, you just put the paper through, put the paper in, and you pull it through, it doesn't matter anyway. Um, I will find a use for it. And then I was at the thrift store today down in Henderson, and lo and behold, they had the Xyron 850. So I have now the 850, which is a laminating machine, and you just, um, you know, you put something in on this side. Do I have something to put in? Here, I have the ticket. We'll put this in. So you put this in on this side. helps if you put it in there straight. Um, so you put it in on this side and you crank this thing and it comes out on this side. Now the best thing about this is this one has its cutter. I've never had one with the cutter before, but this one actually has its cutter. And so it laminates things and cuts them. And I like this and I'm going to now have to start laminating everything in my house because I have 400 feet of laminate. Cool, right? So I found this for seven dollars um yeah i like this toy so we're gonna play with this toy all right what else did i buy oh let me get this thing out of the way here we go okay so what else did i find well i found this uh for a dollar 99 I don't know why, but these are like always so inexpensive at the thrift store. Um, Sterilite drawers. Okay. Now I use these for all kinds of things in my craft room. Um, I have one that has like all my inks that I use all the time. And I have one with all my adhesives. And I have one that has like all of my corner rounders and things like that. And I have a space over there that uh, this one will fit in next to the one that I currently have on the desk. So I am going to be putting this one next to that one. And... Uh, getting the basket out of there that's like got stuff falling all over the place. It'll also encourage me to keep that part of my desk clean because I'll have to pull the drawers out, right? Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, so what else did I find at the Goodwill? Well, I found one of these. This is one of those, you know, hold your camera around your neck things. But the other thing that this is good for is um, for filming stuff when you don't have a tripod because you can do a lot of things with this. One, it has a nice swivel at the neck. Uh, two, it's got a nice long piece and this thing is flexible and bendable. So if you don't have a tripod, you could, you know, put this on a bookshelf or something and weight it down and aim your camera and be able to film with it. So, um, kind of a cool little toy to have in your repertoire. And you can use it for what it's actually used for, and that is to hook it around your neck and put your camera in front of you and film, you know, selfie kind of things with it. So, it's pretty cool, um, and I grabbed it because it was only three bucks, and I figured, what the hell, uh, you know, three dollars. Sometimes, you know, you have to be, necessity is the mother of all invention, right? Um, so I grabbed that. No, God. Oh. So, while at the Goodwill, <laughs> I did come across a few things. One was this. This is a pack of Nina 90-pound cardstock.
Nina cardstock. Um, and it was five bucks. It's a full pack for five bucks, right? And it's Nina, and I like Nina. Um, <coughs> excuse me, specifically because Nina does not crack when I use it for the base of stuff. It doesn't crack, and I like that. So I grabbed that. And then I found this, and it was just a box, and I saw it on the shelf, and I was like, what is that? So I opened it, let me get the tape off, there we go, and this is what was in it. Handmade envelopes, 9 by 11 reusable envelopes, 8 per box, and it's, um, you know, like security envelopes, but they're like all sparkly and stuff. And they're this really pretty, pretty paper. And I thought, you know, this would be really cool. I could maybe put this in half and like use the half, one half as a pocket and then do the other half and use the, use the top half like in a journal someplace. And these are, um, you know, fake leather. But there's eight of them in here and the box is full. So I thought, you know, these are kind of cool. I think I like them. So I grabbed it. And the box is cool, too, so, you know. <laughs> okay. It's, like, all brass and shimmery and stuff. So grab that. And then, and then, I found these. And this says parchment paper. I don't know if it's parchment paper. Let's open it and find out. Uh-huh. Oh. All right, what is it? Oh my. It's not parchment paper. It is giant sheets. And I mean giant sheets. These suckers are huge. They are... 16 by 12 inch deli paper. That was for you, Laura. Okay, so I got that. Hey, come off of this. All right, what else did I get? Oh, and then I found these. These are from Lakeshore, and they are multiplication and division flashcards, right? Look at how stinking cute they are right they're cute and they are about one and three quarter inches by about two and a half inches and they have the little docked corners on them stinking cute so i grabbed those and then <laughs> gotta get the bags I went to a different Goodwill. You guys don't want to see that. Okay, so the first thing I found was this. Um, it is a little notebook. Best new little green dresses. Being perfect is an easy. Just ask me how to be a feisty little pixie. Eat my dust. Looking for Neverland. My chat. My attitude is my best accessory. Uh, wings work with everything. Tinker to the totally sassy issue. And it's literally just, um, you know, some paper. And I just thought it was stinking cute. And somebody would like this. So I grabbed it. And then I found these little note cards. These are from Current. And they're just little micees. They're just these cute little micees. And they have a couple of different designs in here. And I thought they were stinking adorable, you know. And, uh, you know, I'm always looking for a note card to send a note to somebody or tuck something into an envelope. And so I thought, you know, that, those are kind of cute. And, like, so totally not me. But, you know, what do you want for two bucks? And then they have this bag. And the only reason I got the bag was 
because there were Mary Engelbert cards in there. Just some blank cards. And then there were some postcard things in here. And they're kind of Christmas, but they're like cool Christmas. So I grabbed those. Oh, Thanksgiving bugs. And then there was just a bunch of envelopes. And, you know, we always need envelopes, right? So I was okay with that because I wanted the Mary Engelbert cards. What else did I get? All right. Uh, so that was it at the Goodwill. But I went to Savers. And the first one I went to, I found this. Um, it's a hole punch. And I have to find out if I can move these at all. Pull tab to empty. Aha. Hold on, it's full. So, I don't think I can move them. But it's got a lot of punches in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven punches. I have no idea why anybody would have that many punches. Do not remove bottom cover. But, you know, it was two bucks and it had a lot of holes in it. And I thought, you know, like for doing cards or something, like I might use these two down here, or these three down here, or these four up here. So I figured, what the heck? We'll grab it and check it out. Then there was this thing. And, you know, I buy things sometimes just because of one thing in the bag. <clears throat> Floating Deluxe. Wild Rose Candles. Not why I bought this. I bought it for this. 36 postcards with uh, that you write on the reverse side. So these are like old postcards and you write on the back of them. You put a stamp right there who it's to, and then you write on the back of them. And these are vintage. They are definitely, definitely, definitely vintage. Um, but I saw those, and so I grabbed those, and then there was this. And again, this is vintage, 36 postcards right on the reverse. Put the stamp there, you put the address on it, and then you write on the back of the card. And they're all the same. But I thought, how stinking cute are those? Um, I can put them in packs. So I grabbed those. And then, uh, and then I got these. Now, I saw these a couple weeks ago, and I kind of left them because I was like, yeah, they're a little pricey, but they were still there. Um, I really have absolutely no use for this part, but this part I like. Um, this is Brenda Walton, Grand Adhesions uh, from Kane Company. Both of these are. And, you know, I love that paper, and I have that big pack, so I grabbed those. And they had this one. If I can get these to come apart and not stab myself with the staples. But they had this one, which actually goes with this one, and this one, which actually goes with this one. And I guess they all work together. Doesn't matter really, but um, this definitely goes with this. And this, I think, goes with this because it's got the same little yellow flowers. But you know, I like this stuff, so I grabbed it. Uh, these are like frames, sticker frames, cardstock, die cut from Daisy D's. Um, there's two on the back and six on the front, so you get eight pieces. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I would do with it, but they're frames. What else? Oh, and I grabbed a couple of books. Um, one is George Carlin. Uh, just because he's always saying funny stuff, I thought there'd be some funny stuff in here for me, you know, like some quotes and stuff.
<laughs> and the other one is Motherhood, the Second Oldest Profession by Irma Bombeck. I loved Irma Bombeck. I thought she was funny as hell, but I wanted it because, again, I thought it might be, you know, something cool. And then I got these. And the reason that I bought these was because they're kind of cool little plastic cases. There's I got a bunch of them. And so what I'm thinking about doing with these is, let me get this all out of here. Um, and I know what they're for. So what I'm thinking of doing with them, this one's for batteries. That one I'm going to keep. But these right here I grabbed, and the reason that I grabbed them is there's six of them. Um, I thought, you know, this would be cute if I filled this with ephemera. You know, like different types of ephemera and die cuts and stuff. And then, um, you know, I could sell them in my sale. Uh, so you guys could, like, buy, like, a grab bag of ephemera and it comes in this little case. So you get it all taken, you know, all kind of all wrapped up. So I grabbed those. Then I went to the next Sabres. Yeah, I know. I spend a lot of time at Sabres. Okay. So the first thing I found was this. Now, this has nothing to do with us, okay? This has to do solely with the fact that these are dice from the win. I have no use for those. But these are from High City Books. They're 50 10-sided dice, okay? These are for, like, Dungeons and Dragons and games and stuff like that, all those kinds of role-playing games. And it's a whole bag of them, right? Stinking cute. Um, but my family plays a lot of these types of games where we need these things. And so I thought, you know, rather than my kids spending buttloads of money buying them, let me just buy this big old bag of them. And then my kids don't have to keep buying the stupid dice. My son's into D&D &D right now, you know, so he can use two of these and half of those, who knows. But those are expensive. Those dice are expensive. And what else did I get? Okay, again, you know, I buy bags for like one thing I see in them. And this one had two things. One was this one here. This is uh, from Hampton Art from Bella Boulevard, a couple of faces and things, Inka Dinka Doo, Simplicity Vintage, um, so I grabbed that, and it had this in there, to die for, I have no idea what this is, but it was, um, it's from uh, Making Memories, so I wanted to see what it was, talks about all kinds of paper dyeing and fabric dyeing and how to dye ribbon and stuff like that. Okay. It's kind of neat. I have no idea, but it tells you how to do it. So I grabbed it. All right. What else did they have? Come out of the bag. Out of the bag. Okay. So then I found this bag. So this is uh, Signatures at MGM Grand, the Signature, which is uh, like their top-end hotel. It's just a notepad from there I grabbed. And uh, it had some letters. Didn't want that. Had some hole punches. Didn't want that. Uh, and then it had this in there. Um, not necessarily something that I wanted, but, uh, you know, I figure it's kind of already messed up. Hags might be able to get some... Uh, some signatures out of this and get it dyed up. What I got it for was this piece right here. This is uh, Create 365, the Happy Planner. And it is a, um, a stamp that does the check boxes and lines. See? 
check boxes and lines. And so I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and you just have to, you know, re-ink the little pad that's in there. So I grabbed that. I really do kind of like this. I'll give it to the heck. Um, and then I grabbed one other bag. And that was this one. Let me get this open. And I can tell you, I always find the weirdest stuff, right? So I grabbed this, and when I originally grabbed it, um, I'd noticed that they had these spelling lists in here, you know, where like the kids would, their class, their date, their name, and then they write their spelling words, how many they got correct, how many they got, you know, misspelled. And then you write the misspelled words on the other side, and there's one, two, three, four, five of these in there. Um, and I thought, okay, that was kind of cool. It was different. Um, and then they had this. And these are like gigantic flashcard things, you know? They're huge. These things are, uh, they're two feet long. Yeah. They're three inches wide, two feet long. They're one and a half inch guideline ruled. And, you know, they're for, like, writing big words on it and stuff. And I thought, oh, those are fun. Hags will have fun with that. So I grabbed those. Stay. Sit, ubu. Okay. And then there was these in there. And this is what I bought it for because I saw these. And I was like, what are those? And then I realized what they were. Bring this up. I mean, obviously not going to glue this together right now, but <laughs> look at that. Isn't that cute? Um, so they're like little pocket things that like you put on a door, hang on a doorknob or like on a wine bottle or something. And I thought those are cute and hags will have fun with them. So I grabbed those and I got a couple of packs of them, you know. So I figured she'll have some fun. Um, and then, hi, kitty, kitty. I was getting ready to walk out of the Savers. And I saw this and it said eight and a half inch paper cutter with seven inch scissors. Okay. Quantity, one per carton, one eight and a half inch paper trimmer, and one seven inch scissor. And I turned it over and didn't say anything else more there. And, you know, it was six bucks. So I opened it up dutifully. And I opened it, and this little piece of cardboard came out. And I was like, what the hell is that? I had no idea. But then I saw these, and I went, God, those look vaguely familiar. And I turned them over, and there it is right there, tonic. And I went, oh, no. And so I turned the board over, and sure enough, it is a uh, Tonic Studios trimmer. Brand new in the original package. So, just so you know, this is what they come like from China. Um, China manufactures them and sends them over. And you get, see right there, it says made in China. Um, you get a pair of scissors and a cutter in the package and then they send it to um, Tonic and Tonic then takes it and they take them apart. They open these up, they take them apart, they package the scissors and they package the cutters and they package them separately and uh, then they sell them separately. So this is the uh, pre-US packaged version uh, of the Tonic scissors and cutting board. So I found that as well. And I thought that was kind of cool. So that's pretty much it. Oh, wait. I did. I went to Tuesday morning. So I was at Tuesday morning. I found these typecast 18 pieces. Um, they're labels. You know, love, love, date, uh, memories and moments, looking forward, remember this. Uh, they're, they're journaling tag type things. I grabbed some of those. And... I found some new napkins. My store has new napkins. Um, they have this one, which is like a, 
Hortensia. And they have this one, which is the uh, Blue Morpho. And this one, which is the Megan. And this one, which is the Roses and Cactuses. And this one, which is the uh, Peony, which I just had and everybody loved. And so um, I kept that one. So what I'm going to do is probably put these like two in a pack or something like that. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'll put them two in a pack and sell it for two bucks, you know, five for a dollar kind of thing. Same thing, but you're going to get two of each kind. Okay, that's it, guys. That's all I got on my convention today. It was pretty boring, right? Oh, well, there's the one last thing. So this is new at your Tuesday morning. The Jane Davenport Palette Pastel. Uh, $5.99. The comparative estimate value was $15.49. My fat aunt Sally. Um, let me get this open. So, what this is, according to them, is basically pan pastels. Uh, making faces, mixed media. This is like their chalk pan pastel. Jane Davenport's version. All right, so it says that it includes the uh, swatch card. There's the swatch card. And here is the uh, the pan pastel, basically, um, which if you really want to know, it's just makeup. It's just, it's just makeup. It's just thick makeup, that's all. Uh, Montreal. I think it goes this way. I have no way of knowing, but you know what? We're going to say it does. And so I'm going to put this on here. So that's what it is. It's a, you know, it's a pan pastel. Basically it's makeup <laughs> for paper. Um, but that's what it is. That's what it looks like on my fingers. Um, but I got that. I uh, didn't know if anybody would be interested. So I only grabbed the one. Uh, that's it, guys. That's really seriously it is all that I bought today. That's all I found on my scavenger. Um, listen, if you haven't done so already, do me a favor. Hit the red button for me. Like me, ring my bell, and share me with all your friends. And then they can come and see what I find on my scaventures. Till I see you guys again, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye-bye.